All right, and welcome to the Mindsaw SEO Show. I'm Brett Maletta, and I'm here today with Arizona Connell, the newbie, the great, the great <laughs> newbie, great, great newbie. Like I told you, you're going to uh, you are going to suppress. Uh, uh, I'm using the wrong word. I said suppress. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I, whatever. You're going to go a lot further. Surpass. Than, surpass. <laughs> You're going to go a lot further. You're going to surpass me in marketing and probably in English also. That's what happens when you have too many things to do at once. So, yeah, so you're going to be great. We all know that. Um, first of all, uh, I want to talk to you about two things. You know, like I always tell people, don't bore us, get to the chorus. But I got to bore everyone for at least uh, – at least 30 seconds. Uh, how, how are you doing personally? How's things working out for you? I'm doing great. I've been feeling a little under the weather, but I've um, been doing great. I'm at the process, um, which we'll get into that either this video or the next. Um, I am really frustrated with the um, the only the avenues that are available or uh, for verifying GMBs in cities that you don't have access to a mailing address because I am working on a shoestring budget. I don't have a lot of money, so I can't really, it's not feasible for me to go pay, you know, $1,200 to GMB rock stars. You know what I mean? Like that would hurt. That would hurt. That would hurt bad. You I know what I mean? Well, I'm fine. Let, let's, let's, let's go. Yeah. I understand. But let's, let's be, let's, let's be fair. Let's be fair. Is that, uh, you know, for for a business that needs GMBs and needs them quick, they're great. But for people that, like I said, just working on a shoestring budget and need to do it themselves, uh, maybe we could have a lesson on how to do that through Craigslist. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Yeah. You know how to how to create ads and then what to say to them. And you know, you can't use the word Google verification because Google, of course, uh, Craigslist will uh, will ban that. So you really? can't use that. Yeah, 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 yeah. You'll get you'll get knocked <laughs> off. <laughs> you get knocked off, but maybe we could do a workaround where you post an ad that basically says, "Hey, work from home, great opportunity," uh, you know, and, and yeah. we'll put something together. Yeah, All right. Awesome. So I want to say that. So besides feeling a little bit under the weather, uh, a little bit under the weather, uh, everything else is okay. Health yeah. is okay. Everything's yeah. good. Everything's good. Okay. 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 How about so, you? How about you? No, oh, good. Good. I'm. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm doing well. So. Um, I I turned you on to another fellow that I want you to mentor now, <laughs> right? And then and then that fellow better mentor somebody else, and and so on and so forth, right? So we keep this thing going. So have you reached out to that guy at all yet? I did. We had a long phone conversations. Uh, shot a couple emails. Um, shot, shot a couple texts. He's uh he's super dedicated. Um, he's, uh, I mean, he's fairly knowledgeable for a beginner. I mean, he's, he's trying right. to do the same thing I'm doing, uh, ranking rents. Right. Um, he's, you know, got a full-time job trying to do this on the side and he is, I'm, I'm so glad that you put me in contact with him because he's actually, you know, coming up with some, you know, some unique little like spinoffs on ideas on how we could do this and how we could do that. And you can tell sure. he's really engaged. He's really engaged. Great. And that's really, okay, and that's what you look for. Yeah. That's important. All right. Yeah. So that's your responsibility now. Yeah. You have your responsibility yeah. to that person. Right. Right. Yeah. So, so we yeah. got to, so we got to make it happen. We got to make yes. it happen. Okay. Absolutely. So today on the show, what we want to do is we want to go through the process of GMBs. And remember, we're doing this for newbies. So we're doing it for people who, who haven't signed up with GMB or ha haven't made a Google My Business. Uh, they're trying in to get into the Google Maps. However, they don't know really what to do and the process for doing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that together today. Now, just a disclaimer before we start is that I usually pick up the Google My Businesses, the GMBs, once they've been verified. Right. So I have a VA do all that other work where they go in and they so I may stumble a little bit on what to do next. It's when we get the GMB and they're verified, then they give them to me and then I do my thing. So um, why don't you share your screen and let's okay. go through that. We want to we want to create a GMB today. Right. So this is yes. a good as you as you're doing that, I'll talk. Uh, this is a really good lesson for somebody who is just getting into either has their own business and realize that they needed to create a GMB for their business to get located in maps, or, or somebody who wants to do a lead gen and is going to create a Google My Business for the first time. So you need to start with, you need a, uh, a Google email address. Now, I would suggest, I don't know if this is 
proven, and we use a term called uh, SEO or Gessio. So this is Gessio, right? I, I would believe that you should use an email address that's already trusted. Uh, Google loves uh, uh, curated uh, uh, email addresses and websites that have been around for several years, right? So if you could purchase a Google Gmail account, I probably would use that one because it looks more natural. If you could, if you could, but if not, you just create a Gmail account and get going. All right. So that's all I wanted to say about that. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, just so I'm, I'm, we're just creating a brand new one. We do have a state for free service. Um, we do. Is one of those yours? No, no, yours? no, none of these are not mine. This is a smaller town. This is actually where my family's business at is that is where I'm at right now. They have a Statesboro tree service, but they do not have a Statesboro tree service S with an S. So I'm just going to, we're just doing this right now for, for everybody. So I'm going to go in. What I've did is um, I just Googled uh, Google my business and this is the page it brings you to. So I'm going to go ahead and go to manage now. Um, type your business name. Okay. So wait, wait, hold on before you do that. Stop, stop before you do that. So watch this. So uh, I'm presently in the in the process of of uh, uploading a new YouTube video that we did yesterday, and was from Dan from uh, from uh, um, GMB Rockstars. We had him on the show yesterday. It was probably did you? It was really? probably one. Yeah, yeah. It was probably one of our best shows. It was probably oh, one of our best awesome, shows. Dude. Yeah, so that's going to be up there in a couple of minutes. So here's what he says. So he has insight to things like like people look at me and they're like, man, you know so much about everybody has their specialty as to what they know about. Right. And Dan knows about how GMBs are coming down. And, 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 and what he's saying is that you're better off naming it. Dan's it goes against everything that we've been talking about. This is but this is what he says. He says you're better off naming it Dan's tree service than the name uh, than, than the state name or the city name plus service. He said Google says that uh, those are getting whacked first, especially in big towns. However, if it's a smaller town, it, it, it may last longer. All right. Well, so this is a small town, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, this showing is small, me? yeah, this okay. is a smaller town. Okay, so. so that's just something for people to think about, right? Okay. Something for people to think about that if you're in a bigger town, you, uh, you may not want to go in an exact match. You know, for some of these smaller towns, I think it would be, I think it's easier to do. So we're going to go with an exact, we're going to go with an exact match now. Now, one of the other things that he said is that when you create the website, uh, why don't you do something like professional uh, instead of services, why don't you do uh, pros or something like that? Of course, here's here's the reason why. Here's the reason why. Because pros? This, right, yeah, right. Yeah, right. okay. Yeah, because that other guy is going to see it and say it's too close. He's going to flag. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll go with uh, yeah. Facebook Tree Service Pros. So that way it's got our exact match, you know, yeah. keyword in it. And then it's got the little something pros. on the end. To, to yeah. kind of set it to give us a, a kind of a brand with a maybe. keyword. It can maybe like slightly, not so much, but it does give us that, you know, not exact yeah. match to get flagged or taken down. It, it can gives right. us that little that little something that, that might be the the the, the factor. Okay. Maybe. Um so here. So what's the name of your business? That's the name. Next. Okay. Do you want to add a location? They can visit. Um yeah. No. Where do you serve your customers? Road, Georgia. Um, boom. Best category. All right. Tree. Just type in tree and something. Else tree service. Up. Tree there service. Now, this is weird because I, yeah, yeah. Because there you have arborist and tree surgeon, and that's one thing I want to point out why it's important before you pick your category is to do your GMB research when you're doing your 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 um, competition analysis and checking right. the GMBs out and see what are the, what is the category that they're all ranking for. Because just right here, right. Arbor, arborist and tree surgeon and tree service, they're the exact same thing, but not a single person is ranking. It's ranking. 
for this. Every right. you type in tree removal, tree service, tree anything, it's all under this business category. So make sure you get your you you pay attention to that category. Right. Okay. What I want to show. Uh, do me a favor before you do that. Open another window and just show, uh, or or use that tree service one and show no 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 the the Statesboro tree service and uh -huh. show people what you mean by category. Okay. Um, use right that here. link right there. Yeah, right yeah, there you go. Okay, this is Statesboro and, and tree highlight. service. And these are the GMBs right here is where it shows the business category and whether it's plumbing, HVAC, bail bonding, um, you know, whatever that is, Google has got a, a big list of categories that you have to select from. So if you go, if you see if I, I'm somebody looking to have a tree job done in Statesboro, Georgia, and I typed it in, our everything, all everyone, tree service, tree service, tree service, tree service, none of them. Right. Literally, if I go on all the way down, none of them, not a single one had um, yeah. arborists. So that is that's what we're talking about. Make sure you go right. check out and um everything. So right, right now, so I had, yeah. okay, go ahead. So 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 I had a client that like to mix the soup every once in a while. So I was in there making the soup, putting all the ingredients in the soup, and then he would come in once a month and add salt while I wasn't looking, right? So he <laughs> would go into his GMB and he would change his categories. What? And I'm like, yeah, he would go in and change his categories. And I wouldn't notice it. And then he would send me an email a couple of weeks later, or, you know, a week later, a couple of days later, saying, hey, all my rankings dropped. And I go crazy trying to figure out why his rankings dropped. And it's because he changed. And I'm like, why did you do that? And he's like, well, because I think it best represents us better. I said, yes, but if you're trying to rank for your keyword, you, you're screwing everything up. Yes. So then it took another week or so for everything to adjust, you know? Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, and yeah. I'll, 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 right. I'll speak on that as well. Is And this is business in general, okay? 99.9% .9 of the time, it is not what you want. It's what the customers want. I don't care if your favorite color is puke green. You can't paint your business puke green or your or your product packaging puke green if blue is the, the, the color that sells the best. That's just how this works in business. And the thing is, is doing this GMB and maps ranking and SEO in general, it's not about necessarily... What you think is is logically what's best is about what a Google's algorithms pick up on. What? Why? How did they think? How do they rank stuff? And you have to optimize well for that. Well said. I okay. agree. Okay. So contact phone feels number. Like we, okay. Feels like we're yelling at the audience. <laughs> we're just excited. We're just <laughs> high people. people. Yeah, I, high I understand. These people. four people come in to watch our show. And everybody's rooting for everybody. It's like, man, I'll pay right. Wait You can't do this. You know. All right, go ahead. Go to the next one. Okay. So I don't have a current website URL. So I can right. you can add that in later, obviously. Okay. So that's that's not that's not gonna be a problem. No, so I so, want to talk okay. about that in okay. a second. Okay, okay. Is okay. That we'll do that. What Daniel said yesterday is that uh, these one page websites that are associated with these um, exact matchers are getting flagged right away, especially in the bigger cities. So you're going to have to pay that little $75 if you want yes. this to work out and bring it over to Fiverr and go get yourself a little website. Absolutely. So um, you can, I'm assuming uh, you can add a website later. We don't have yeah, a website yeah. for this. So, um, I, but do I, do I need to click, I don't need a website or get a free website, get a free website? Uh, which was, I mean, this is kind of where I'm, I'm, I am a little confused because I don't okay. want to. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Just put, uh, just put, uh, yeah. Cause they're going to send you, I believe to the GMB. And like I said, in the beginning, I don't usually okay. do this. So okay. All right, just put that. Yeah. Finish and verify this business to manage your list. And you'll need to verify your connection with this business. What well, you'll get with verification. You'll allow new customers to find you on Google search and maps, promote your business with photos and posts, and track business analytics to understand your customers, respond to customer reviews. Finish. Okay, please enter your mailing address. Um, post box, uh, post office boxes are not eligible. Now, this is something I wanted to ask you, Brett. Um, I know that yeah. PO boxes are not eligible, but at FedEx stores, they're not PO boxes; they're suites. You know what I mean? So, if you went and got a 
FedEx mailing address using like Suite 102, is that going to be a viable solution to this postcard? Because if it is, you know, it's much <clears throat> cheaper to go rent a mailbox from FedEx or UPS or, or, or whoever for, you know, 25, 30 bucks a month, get that one postcard sent. You know what I mean? It's a lot cancel more it. and then cancel it. Right. And boom. Now you've got to cancel it. Right. Then you cancel it. Now you've got a, you've got a valid commercial mailing address and you wound up getting a verification with GMB for 25, 30 bucks, as opposed to paying some of these other providers, 120, $130. Good, good question. So let me give me a second to answer that one. Right. OK, so I the, the short answer is I don't know. Okay. I don't know about if FedEx is good. I heard for a while that uh, these Regis offices where you get a virtual office that yes. Google has. Um, and this was years ago that Google uh, doesn't allow the Regis offices. They certainly don't allow post box offices, uh, P.O. boxes um, there. They. You know, just because they say they don't take P.O. boxes doesn't mean they don't take P.O. boxes, but they don't take a bunch of other things also. So I don't know if FedEx is included in that list. Any GMBs I've ever done were always to a real address. Gotcha. So so um, that's just my that's just my take on it. So I use a P.O. box there. No, no, I'm not. Um, this is, I okay. mean, I'm just using my family's address here in Statesboro. Okay. This, I'm, I'm doing this for simplicity's sake. I actually do have a mail and address in Statesboro that okay. I can check. But now just okay. nose down here that it does give you the option. If you want to go ahead and create your GMBs with the right. name and start this process, it gives you the option to verify this address Stay on later. That. Stay on that. Don't click anything. Okay. So you now sell this tree service web uh, 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 lead gen to somebody that's on 1010 Main Street. Mm -hmm. And you get a call from Mountain View, California. And I say, hey, we need to verify your address. What address is that person at 1010 Main Street going to give Google? I mean, well, the thing is, the phone number and the address they're going to be calling my phone you know what i mean like you're not because well, no, you're going to forward no because you're going to forward that number over to your well, lead gen well that's right? no, that's the thing i wouldn't until it's verified and that process out uh, wait, wait, no i don't i I'm wouldn't plug say, no arizona i'm going to say you you already have everything going and you're ready to sell your lead gen you, okay. you're ready to give it to another tree service that's at 1010 main street uh-huh so Google calls up and says, hey, we want to verify your address. What address should, do they give? Well, what I'm curious is why would they or do, would they actually, if it's already verified, are they going to call again at a later date and ask for further verification? Are they? So you better watch, you better watch the show that I'm in the middle of uploading, what okay. Daniel is saying. Yes, okay. they are. Not only that, they're not only that, they're making you take your cell phone and do a walk around and show them their office. Okay. Well, well, I think and then they're lining it up with Google Maps. How's that? Okay. Well, if if that's what comes to pass, if that truly does to come to pass, and it's going to be that way, then I guess what I would say to you and say to anybody else is, you you honestly you got to be prepared to either find somebody to outsource things like that to in areas that you don't live in, or you got to be prepared to do a little bit of traveling. Like if you really want to make this a business, if you want to make this, I understand about the verification part. Um, right. one one thing about the verification part, I will say this is the call forwarding service. Um, just the one I'm going to use. There are many many other ones. You can actually, um, you can actually put in certain numbers in the software and say these, if any of these numbers call, make sure that call comes back to this line as opposed to being forwarded to right. the, my really. tree guy. So I would, I would right. be able to filter any call. I, coming think Google from, use, I think Google use, I think Google uses more than one number to verify it. Anyway, well, wait, give me a second. Uh, well, what I was, give me a second. Okay. Give me a second. Okay. What I'm going to say is that you have to give them that you have to give your customer the, this address. If Google calls, they have to say they're at that address, 303. 
Well, yeah, yeah I, well, I, I totally, I totally agree with you. And anybody doing client stuff, and I want to point this out that if you're not, if you're not wanting to do rank and rent and stuff like I am, and you're wanting to do client map CEO, which I'm op definitely open to doing that as well, then this is a huge problem, and this is a huge part of the problem that you actually don't have to deal with. This is going right. to be there. There are pros and cons to both, and this is one of the cons that I personally will just have to deal with. You know, with Brett, right. he does a lot of client SEO stuff. He's got a right. guy to send an address to that actually does have a business at that location. So Brett doesn't have right. to deal. Brett doesn't have to go through the problems of is it going to get delisted? Is it going to get taken down? Is information going to get crossed? Or are they going to flag it? He doesn't have to deal with that. Me right. personally, I'll have to deal with a little bit of that stuff. So there's, yeah. like I said, the pros and cons to both business models. Boom. Okay. Awesome. So next. Okay. Um. In order to, okay, in order to fully manage and represent this business on Google, you need to confirm that it's yours. Select how you would like to get a verification go code. Um. Postcard by mail. Have a postcard uh with your code mailed to this address. Make it take up to five days. Um. More options. Let's see. We got more options. Verify later. Um, if you verify later, you can't fully manage your listing until you're verified. I know that you can do some things. You can go in and, and manage right. certain, certain type of things. Um, so contact name. Um, put in. And this is kind of maybe a little iffy as well, like putting in a contact name. Um, I don't think that's going to matter too much. I'll just put in my name. I'll put in my name and um, mail. Postcards coming. You'll get a postcard with your verification code and next steps in about five days. Okay. So continue. Welcome to Google My Business. You know, boom, get started. Boom. So um, it is pending verification, but you are... Um, Let's see. Um, advertise easily in minutes. Um, do you want to? Let's yeah. See. Okay. You want to I will complete my take list over. You want to take yeah, over? Yeah. So we'll go to the part where your. Yeah. Let me see if I can share. Stop sharing, please. Okay. I'll go to my. Hold on. Once. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was pretty smooth. Okay, so now you come to a part where you have your Google My Business. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to the info. And you want to make sure that you fill out all the information here. Now, there's not a lot of stuff to fill out. Basically, you want to find the main category that your client wants to rank, your main keyword that they want to rank in, and you want to find out what what uh, Google category everybody else is ranking in and, and use that category. And then you want to use anywhere from three to five other categories. You don't want to go crazy and, and put eight, eight categories. The other thing which you may want to do is you may want to create pages for these categories. So Google sees you as you provide these services, right? So you say you're an electrical engineer, Create a page that says you're an electrical engineer. You say you're an electrician, the same thing. You're a telecommunic telecommunications contractor, create a page on that. Okay. okay. You put in your address. Now, I once watched a video, I forgot who did it, but they made up a real good point is, is check your address in Google and see what address they have for you. Do they have Avenue spelt out or do they just have Av? Oh, that's really good. That's yeah. really smart. That's really so smart. So stuff like that. Right. See what they have you as. Because you may think what your address is, but Google may have it slightly different. Same address, but just different things. And that matters right? a lot when you're talking about citations and that consistency. So start from so start from the right, start from the beginning and see see what Google already has you as. Right? Okay. Right. If they, if they already have you, then you want to do the areas you service, right? And once again, I would create pages. I would create uh, uh, city pages for each one of these location pages for each one of these uh, uh, cities. 
So, you know, you do Brooklyn, Manhattan, and I would, I would create city pages. But that's for another lesson. We'll talk about that, you know, creating city pages another time. You could, uh, you could uh, YouTube, there's a lot of lessons on creating, how to create location pages. I would create them for your service areas. Okay. Now, here's a real important, here's real, something really, really important. On your website, on your website, you should take the hours exactly as they are in Google My Business. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by that, right? So some people put M-F 7 to 3, and they okay. put that on their website. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or they put 7 to 3. They don't put am dash. 3 p.m. Exactly. It has to be exactly like this. Exactly okay. like this. If you're 24 hours, if Google has you 24 HRS with the HRS right next to the 24, do it that way. Okay. Right? Don't put 24 hours then. Just put it the way that Google has it. Okay? Okay. All right. Um... I just want to talk about some of the other th things. Yeah, you definitely want to fill out your little info. I got to finish this up, right? You want to fill out your little info on your business. I think you could add 750 words. I just took over this client uh, a week or two ago. So there's stuff that I need to do. Okay. And now, then you also – go ahead. Um, my, uh, while we're right there about filling out the information, I've watched, uh, you know, watched some other stuff on like – people recommend that you use the maximum amount of characters allowed, like use max it all the way out when you're doing the description. And now when you're doing the information and stuff, I mean, how many times do you recommend that you, you drop the keyword that you're keyword. trying to rank for? Yeah. I would only do it, uh, 3% of the time. That okay. seems to be the, uh, that seems to be, you know, okay. perfect 3% okay. of the time. All right. So there's a, what, what did I show you last week? Word counter? Yes. Right? So for people who didn't see that episode, all you do is take this, copy this. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, let's say just say you copied it. You put it into wordcounter.com. And in wordcounter.com, word counter will tell you how many times you're using the words, the percentage of time. I think I have something saved in here. I may. Of course, today I don't. Give me five seconds. I'll show you what I mean. So just bring it over to wordcounter.com, paste it in here. And you see on the side, it'll tell you how many times you're using the percentage of the words. Electric is only 1%. I'm only using it once. It's 3%. Right. Gotcha. Everything okay. here is three percent. Okay. Okay. Electrical so, seven percent. It's a little high. Yeah. So if there if there are seven if there are about seven hundred or so characters, you're only going to use the keyword about twice in the whole descriptor. Is going to work, right. You know, right. I mean, about two times. Right. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And I'm going to redo this. I'll probably do it today. But what <laughs> I do, what I like to do, is just send it over to iWriter. I'll give them something, and then they'll and then they'll write me up. They'll write me up something. Or you know what else I've been doing? I'm going to we'll show see. you something else. I'm going to show you something else. I go to YouTube. I go to YouTube and I find somebody who writes something about electrical. Wait, watch this. And we need to end this show in about five minutes. But that's okay. okay. We did most of the stuff, right? Okay, that's fine. So I'll go over to YouTube and I'll type in. I'll type in, for example, E. I'll type in electrician. Uh, okay, so let's just say I took this video, how to become an electrician, right? I'll take this, I'll go here. See what it says, open transcript? Yeah. I'll take this whole transcript because this wasn't, look, I'm not putting it on my website, right? I just need it for Google My Business. I'll take this whole transcript I'll put it in Notepad. Yeah. And then I'll and then I'll edit it all out. 
I'll just set it out. It takes a while. It's a pain. It's a pain in the ass. Yeah. But then this will be my description. You see what I mean? I gotcha. Yeah. Right. So, so this guy said everything that I need. So I just have to put it in. I just need to put it in a sentence. Now I certainly wouldn't use "What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my uh, shed" or something like that. But you, you know, you'll find something to say. You know, somebody will make a video. An electrician is a person who's very important in our society. Yeah. They handle these type of things, and it's perfect. Just yeah. open the scrant transcript, put it in Word. I mean, in uh, Notepad, and, and, and massage it around a little bit. You know what? After a half hour, you could do it yourself, or you could just give uh, iWriter, go over to iWriter, pay $10. But sometimes I need things like now. You know, I need things within 30 minutes. So I'll just do it myself. Or I'll have one of my VAs do it. And then that's how I'll get, you know, a description. I also do that sometimes with Google Posts. But we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Uh, add photos. I would say stand at, take at least 50 pictures, at least 50 pictures with your cell phone and, and get them uploaded to your Google My Business. Now, there's a Google My Business app. And then I want to tell you something else. And I got to split. Okay. There's a Google My Business app that you could use and you could take the pictures. Now, I haven't done this, but you could take pictures on your Google My Business app and then upload them straight to your account. So why don't you check that out, right? I bet, I bet Download that, would, that app on yeah, your yeah. Definitely, on, that, I like on that. Your cell phone. Okay. okay, and then there's something else. There's something called Google Street View. Yeah. Do you know about that? I've heard about it. I've heard where you can get, Google has these certain photographers in areas that are like, you know, like a verified photographers that they can come to your business and you can, or you Correct. can hire them and they'll do the whole picture yeah. video thing and everything. I've heard it, yeah. But, but if you can't afford it, if you can't afford it, and especially... Like that, I, I would think that would that would further back your lead gen if you got if you got a uh, a three sixty view, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, definitely. So you get that, and then this is uh, beautiful Brooklyn, New York. Ah, is that nice? I Is think I was you? born right. Th yeah, I think I was <laughs> born right there, <laughs> somewhere around there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like all back here, there's a whole bunch of strip clubs. Okay, <laughs> awesome, awesome. I mean, look, you know, Brooklyn is beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I like Florida better. What could I tell you? So anyway, so you could take your phone, you street view, and you could stand out there and you could do your office and you could do outside your building and you could just upload that. That would be something that would be really important. So if you're selling a lead gen, uh, well, let me think about this before I say this. See, if you're doing a lead gen, I think Google will be able to tell that this address is here. And if you sell it to somebody at 1010 Main Street, which is over here, then they don't match up. Yeah, that's the only See, thing. See, I'm, I'm not, listen, yeah, I'm not an expert in lead gen, you know. I do my customers and I make sure that they're done, you know. Well, yeah, no, well, it's, I mean, I think they're the same it's, it's the same principles. It's just it's just a different way of collecting money. It's just about, you know, I mean, but you're right. I, that is what would scare me is like, do I film this tree service in Savannah that I have access to and use that use that street view for a business in Texas? And then they realize that Google's algorithms pick up like this location in Texas. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not in Texas. This is bullshit. So something flaky right, is going right. on here and pull right. it down. So like I said, if you you if you're gonna do the the lead gen rank and rent model and you don't have access to the physical locations of which you're doing this in, you're gonna have yeah. to either be prepared to travel or you're gonna have to be prepared to find people in that area and pay them to do these things for you. Or what you could do is you could geotag those pictures. So, for example, if I have a client in 10, at 1010 Main Street, I could geotag all the pictures at least for 1010 Main Street. Oh, yeah. And then, and then they don't pay, and I got to sell it to 1010 Maple Street. I take a bunch of pictures, geotag them for 1010 Maple Street, or have a VA do that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. I, right, I and definitely re-upload agree. the pictures, right? Right, yeah. just something yeah. like that. Oh, look, uh, like I said, lead gen is something that you always have to stay on top of, and Google is getting more. I mean, because let's face it. You know, Google wants to provide its client with the best experience. And yeah. if everything's uh, – lead gen isn't a scam because all you're doing is is getting the site ranked. And somebody needs a tree service, the person's going to come out 
and 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 service their tree. I, you know, it's not a scam. It's just not. It's kind of like gray. It's gray. And, but Google Google does, uh, apparently doesn't want gray. Yeah, apparently not. But hey, right. The life is many. It's not the life. The world is usually not uh, black and white. It's just many different shades of gray. You know what I mean? It usually, so. it usually, it usually is. It usually is. So, all right, kids. So look, I got a right. meeting in a little while. Uh, I just want to just want to say uh, a couple of short things before we end. First of all, uh, once again, I thank you for reaching out to me and giving me this opportunity to help you. Oh, all right. Thank, well, thank you. Well, uh, I, I thank you. And uh, I think the thing that's really even super, super powerful now is that you're helping somebody else. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and wouldn't this thing be great? Wouldn't this thing be great if after a couple of years there was 100 people and everybody was helping one another? No, you know, yeah. that, that's a great. Yeah, that's a great thing to do. Right. So I want to yeah. say that. And um, I, I want to say that, you know, you're doing great on your recovery. And, appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. you know, man, you're just friggin' strong, man. You're an ox, man. You are. You're an ox. You're a strong, strong, strong guy. You're a strong minded guy. And uh, I only see great things for you. So you just keep doing what you're doing. You have my cell number 24 hours a day. You need to call somebody. You need to do anything. You know, I don't need to say this on YouTube. You know, we, we speak uh, privately. Yeah. Yeah. You, call, you call me. You call me any any time. Any time. I'm here for you. Yeah, right, I appreciate kid? it so much, man. I appreciate it. All right, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Love you, bro. All right. All, All right. right. I love you too. Be cool.